settle in and I'm going to tell you the story of the wasp and the fig. Once upon a time, nah, just kidding. But there is a story and it's a, it's a really good one too. So let me roll the intro and we'll get into it. here the healthy vegan author and creator of the resource website goldcardvegan.com now first let's begin with a very quick botany lesson now a fig is not a fruit true statement the fig is actually in botanical terminology an inflorescence the meaning of inflorescence is a cluster of flowers on uh, a main axis or pentacle. The timing of the flowering also comes into it, but that's just going to complicate it for you. Look it up in the Encyclopedia Britannica if you want to know the whole uh, botany thing around it. However, the fig is slightly different in that it is an inside out inflorescence. They are hollow, fleshy structures composed of a modified stem which is lined with hundreds of minute flowers. So now that you know the basic composition of the fig and all its flowers, obviously it is going to need to be pollinated. And enter the wasp, the fig wasp to be precise optimum word there is enter. That's right, the wasp has, um, has to pollinate the fig, but it is the weird way this takes place that causes a very grey area for vegans. So let me explain. A female wasp gathers pollen from the fig tree she was hatched in. She then mates with her brothers so, um, and yeah, brother, sister, right, who have also hatched in the same fig. Now, these wonderful brothers that she has then carves an escape hatch for her, setting her free. And they're not so lucky, um, as that's their one and only sole purpose in life. So they are destined to remain to die in the fig. Now, I know this is complicated, but try and keep up. The freed female now needs to find a fig to lay her eggs in. She does, but to enter the fig, she must first crawl through an exceptionally tiny hole. Now, sometimes the hole is so small, she will shed her wings and her antennae to, in order to like fit through it. So once inside, she moves through the fig, depositing her eggs and simultaneously shedding the pollen that she'd got from the previous, you know, from when she was hatched out. After she's done that, her job is done and she dies and is consumed by the fig. When the wasps are hatched, the cycle begins again and the females are mated with, you know, collect the pollen and leave the, f leave the fig. So it's just a continual cycle of this. You know, nature still manages to impress me. I, I, it's amazing that these wasps do this. So I'm sure the question you now want to know is, do we eat wasps when we eat figs? And the answer is, eh, not necessarily. Commercially grown figs are not grown this way. These trees are of a variety that does not need pollination or the wasp's pollination to produce the fruit. So I think you can be 90% certain that the fig you are about to eat will not contain any wasp. But you can also think of it this way. The wasps, if you like, this is if you are going to be eating uh, just organically grown natural figs from the wild. The wasps are not being harmed sp specifically for the production of the figs. This is a natural life cycle of the fig wasp. Um, and humans have not had any hand in it at all. They're not like the honeybee 
which is exploited living in man-made hives and transported all over the countryside. No, no, no. The wasp lives um, inside the figs, does everything it is supposed to do, and makes it possible for the trees to produce more figs for more wasps. So it's like it's a real synergy of nature. The tale of the fig and the wasp brings a sharp reminder to us all that all of nature works in beautiful symbiotic relationships. If we could learn to live within these boundaries, what a beautiful world we would have. And for my tuppence worth, figs are perfectly acceptable for vegans with the added advantage of being exceptionally delicious. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got something from this video, please share it. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe, clicking the notification bell so you don't miss the next one. Remember to have great food, make it whole plant-based and be compassionate to all animals, including humans. Bye for now.